Hey guys, this is Biffy Guy, and I'm back with another quick video here. There was a, a question regarding these self-tensioning guy lines that I had made, and uh, what sort of knot to use on the other end. So, I'm going to flip the camera around, and I'm going to show you uh, the one that's the fan favorite. If you haven't seen the uh, the video for the uh, self-tensioning guy lines, go ahead and click right up here. Alright, so it may be a little difficult to see here, but essentially, we're going to use this tree next to me as a... Uh, as a stake. So you're going to go around your stake here and you're going to cross over. You can go above or below, it doesn't matter. Okay, pinch the end there and you're going to go once, twice, three times on the inside of the loop. Okay, then you're going to come around. You're going to put your thumb in there. You're going to come around on the outside of your guy line and then come back up through that loop that you just made. So when you tighten it all up here, you're going to get something that looks like that. And then there you go. That's the taut line hitch. And so you can adjust that. You can leave it on here if you want. And you can adjust that as you need to. Uh, this is a friction knot. So it's important to remember that your cord is going to have some play in there. This particular cord is called Zingit. And it's a little slick. Which is why I do three. You could also do four if you need to. So once again, we're going to come around. I like to go underneath. Okay, we're going to cross. We're going to do through our loop once, twice, three times. We can do four. Let's do four. Four times. Then we're going to come around over the top of our guy line and you can pull it through. Now one thing is, is if you don't pull your string all the way through, you can make what's known as a slippery taut line hitch. Okay? And we'll tighten that up. Make sure that we're in camera here. So you can see here. So when we want to pull this out, we just pull this end. And it just kind of comes undone. I find the, uh, the slippery works well on many knots. But uh, not as well on this one as I had hoped. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, post it below. You can find more information on uh, knots at uh, a website called animatednots.com. They have a whole ton of uh, knots. I am not affiliated with them, but they have cool stuff. So shout out to them. So again, there's our taut line hitch. It's also known as a mid ship hitch, I believe as well. So there you go. Just remember that life's an adventure and go out and have one with your brand new taut line hitch. Uh -huh.